Hello guys, hope you are all well. For a long time, I didn't want to read books by Sudha Murthy. The one I read two to three years back was kind of a turn off. Recently, I got hold of ten odd books by her, and I thought of giving them another chance. I enjoyed reading almost all of them, and I also have two books which are signed copies. The first book is Grandparents' Bag of Stories, and she has written a short note in both of them. In this book, she has written, "Books are never failing friends. Real joy is reading books." Sudha Murthy. And in the second book, it is written, "Reading is a wonderful habit. Happy reading with affection." Sudha Murthy. So I thought of sharing three books out of all the books I have read by her. So. Let me begin. The first book is The Serpent's Revenge: Unusual Tales from the Mahabharat. This book is a collection of short stories from the Mahabharat. I already knew some of them, but the ones I didn't know were so good. I love Mahabharat and I watched it several times on TV. There were stories about how a mongoose taught Yudhishthir a lesson. Drona Charya's revenge and many more. All of the stories were so fun to read, and this book is highly recommended to all of you. So go and read it. The second book is Grandma's Bag of Stories. This book is also a short story collection. It's about seven children who have come to visit their Ajji and Ajja, which means Grandma and Grandpa. Their grandma knows a lot of stories, and she narrates one story to them every day. There were stories about a princess who became an onion, and about a lazy man who didn't put off a fire until it reached his own beard. But my favorite one was "payasam" for a bear. I don't know what the pronunciation is of "payasam," but it means "keep." So in this story, a couple were making some kheer, and a bear also wanted kheer, but the couple didn't want to give it to him. So they tricked him into eating water with pebbles in it, and they told the bear that it was kheer. It was so funny. The writing style is witty and remarkable. The third and the last book is the Magic of the Lost Temple. This book is not a short story collection. It is a proper chapter book. This book is about this girl Nuni who spent her summer vacations with her grandparents in their native village and she soon got used to her routine and got involved in many activities like preparing picnics, learning to ride a bicycle and playing with her new friends. But then she discovered a hidden step well in a mid- in the middle of a forest. She explored the stepwell and soon informed her grandparents about her discovery. Nuni is a very adventurous girl, and this book is probably my favorite book. So these were my top three books of Sudha Murthy, and they get a big thumbs up from me as they kept me completely engrossed. So thank you guys for watching this video till the end and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already with the notifications on I'll see you all in my next video till then happy reading and goodbye